So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, the first Sunday of a new year and you you missed you missed the communion table. You missed our gathering around communion. The celebration of Epiphany, even though we're a day late. The arrival of the Magi and their gifts, recognizing Jesus. We celebrated that. We listened to Matthew's Gospel. What you also missed was um, the celebration of Janine Profeta's ministry with us. Janine's been with us for three and a half years, and today was her last Sunday, working with the children and with the youth, and, well, working with me for the last three and a half years, helping make a vision come to life. And slowly but surely, it, 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 it's come to life and, and will come to be as it continues to evolve with our young people and youth and it was uh, it, for me it was the hardest day in the three and a half years that I've worked with Janine because it was the last day that we're gonna work for now who knows what the future holds but so we all gathered around and we we gave her a lot of yarn because the woman knits but we we passed a, a ball of yarn around and we we talked about and looked at all the connections and all the relationships that she has created or fostered. And we thanked her for all the things that she's brought to our ministry and some of us the things that, they, that she's brought to our lives. We had cake, we celebrated, and yeah, we had a good, a good day. Even though it's, it's, uh, it's sad when, when projects come to an end. But it's wonderful when you know you'll have friends forever. But back to the more traditional, we, as we listened to the story of the Magi, we, we wondered together about what it meant that they took a different road home. And we know just listening to the story that they took a different road home because they were warned about Herod, that Herod was out to, to get them, politics being what they are. But I wondered whether it would even have been possible for them to go back the road they'd come. And we started to talk about those things that happen in our lives that just change everything. First love, first kiss, first job. Death of a loved one, uh, a great hurt, a great celebration. Things that happen that just change the way we look at the world. I know that when I, I met the person who would then, well, be my partner for life for good 30 years so far that I'm pretty sure that the day after I met her I drove home the same way I'd always driven home and yet it wasn't the same it felt different it looked different I imagined it differently I saw things differently that's what happens when you let something into your heart when you let it affect your life as I say they can be joyous things or they can be sad things but when we let them in when they let we let them become part of us they change the way we go home how could the magi possibly go home the way they came they had just witnessed god's presence they discovered for themselves that god happens here that the divine is not far off in the stars but in fact present here and now beseeching us to to engage, to hold, to dance, to to love. Knowing that, how could you not go home a different way? So the 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 plea at this time at at Epiphany is that we let the Christmas story into our hearts, that we let it affect us, that we let it into our hearts, our minds, our imaginations, and that we go home a different way that we do things differently because because of Christmas. So that's what you what you missed today was that discussion, that wonder, that celebration of Janine, but that wondering about what it means to actually let Christmas into our hearts. And so you may have missed that, but you don't have to miss the import of that. So if you <coughs> if you've been celebrating Christmas and it's time to take down the lights and put away the decorations and that's fine the world moves on you're supposed to do that in a timely fashion but don't box up Christmas don't box up the knowledge that God happens here that we are not alone 
that hope is real. Let that into your heart and let it change you and see if if every time you go home it's just a little bit different because you let Christmas in. Hopefully we'll get to see you soon and we'll get to wonder together. But until we do, God bless.